Whoa, the night is here. The newest killer added to Dead by Daylight. Ooh. In all honesty, I will be perfectly honest. I wasn't super excited for this guy. I uh, don't know. Maybe it's just the pure disappointment from the fact that it's no longer a Scooby-Doo collab as people uh, expected. I've basically just made a build that I've been using that I found works the best with him. And that is what I'm going to be using and showing right now. Look at him. Whoa! So I'm actually going to be using one of his new perks. That being Nowhere to Hide. Whenever you damage a generator, reveal the aura of all survivors standing within a 24 meter radius of your position for five seconds so pretty good um pairs up nicely with call of brian you know what this one does it's pretty simple whenever you kick a generator um it becomes active for 60 seconds where it regresses the generator at 200 percent then scourge hook floods of rage uh just a really really good little bit of aura reading which is very very important and finally just something because this is mostly an m1 killer save the best for last one of my favorite perks in the game absolutely love it it is the best so quickly before we continue if you enjoy this make sure to hit that like button hit that subscribe button and of course leave a comment below with what you think of the build itself and let's carry on thompson house now i actually haven't decided how i feel about the night just yet. Uh, personally, uh, I don't know. I think I like him. I think I'm struggling to find a build that I think definitely I really like. I think this build is definitely the closest to something that I really like. Hmm. We've got some gamers in here. This is definitely the closest to a build I like. And we've got someone who's AFK, which I'm 100% going to take. I think for me, it's just figuring out how to use the the actual knights themselves and the guards. So he's chasing him. I'm gonna get free hit. Yeah, I know she's AFK. That's three stacks of save the best for last. So it should be a free down. Oh, actually, you know what? Kinda like it. I'll take the stack. I can actually just see the blue on his new skin. Ugh, damn it. Ooh. I think once survivors know how to handle the um, the guards, then I think playing him is going to be a lot harder. I do think people at the moment just don't know how to play against him. Now, I already have five stacks, which is very, very good. But yeah, this, this is definitely the best build I found at the moment with him. Um, I think it's just going to be a case of like testing a bunch but you should definitely try this one out they're gonna they've definitely hit up this gen i'll take it i can hear this really far gone oh someone's on it really quick recovery nice should be a free down it is indeed let's get her on a hook i've got full stacks it's going well so far now, I'm going to be scumbag and proc the... Oh, wait. Wait, you just walked into me. I'm going to kick this first. Anyone near? No? Okay. But yeah, I think this is definitely uh, the best build so far on the night that I've used. Well, it's the one I enjoy the most. Definitely my favourite. She's getting rescued. Wait. Oh, damn it. Now, with eight stacks, this should be pretty quick to get him down. Eight stacks is so good. Oh, that's so good. Now, I didn't do a first impressions, mainly because I just didn't feel the need to. I already kind of did that. That's fine. She'll vault that. Ooh. Wrong route. Wrong route. Oh, dear. I just think save the best for last is so good. 
Especially if you can combo it with a hit from one of the guards. Oh, it's so good. That gen's completed. That one's going to have progress, but I think they're going to focus on this one over here. I'm going to send a guard over here. And then I'm going to check this. Ah, yeah, I knew it. Oh, Meg, you're injured. Why are you going to walk straight into the guard? Oh, no, you're not. Uh, why? Sorry, I went really quiet then. I was like concentrating. <laughs> I was concentrating so bad. Now, this is the tactic I'm seeing a lot of people use, which is you place your guard down in the middle of what is a loop. And then you can seem to basically just block off any loops that happen. And it's basically an anti-loop method. But, Call of Brian works really, really well. Um, just causes you to kick a gen. And then you get the bonus of... Wait. Oh, oh, oh. oh this is great. She's going to run? Hmm. She's kind of running to nowhere here. Unless there's a... Pallet. Oh. Okay, that was at the end of my uh, thing. Oh, wait, no, that's the last. Wait, that's the last survivor. <gasps> Bridge cheese. Hmm. Well, that went pretty well. On to the next one. We're back on Macmillan. Okay, let's try that. Let's, let's try that again. So. Here we are, Macmillan. I already see someone, so I'm just gonna push that direction. Where are you going? Now, I'm gonna make my life easier and just destroy this now. now there's no gens over there, so I'm actually not gonna bother. I'm gonna push that. Hopefully they run this way. There's one. Now, I kind of wanted to waste this pallet early. Oh, a free hit. That's fine. Now, let's activate Call of Brian. See if anyone's hiding. Anyone hiding? No. That gen in the corner, I'll probably just leave. Because it's just so far out of the way. Yeah, let's just get this out of the way. Stop the loop. Can she make it somewhere else? I think she might. I mean, it's not ideal being as the fact that she's... Uh, she is, what's it called? The obsession. But we have to be quick. we got to be quick here. Now, I'm going to go around this side. See if I can bite them out this way. Hmm. Wait, where did they... Ah, Ada. There you are. Is she going to get hit? Oh, she got a... Yes! Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, wow. Wait, was that dead hard? That was very good. I think this might be a down. I think. You're going to make it? The pallet's not this side. Yeah. Okay. Hook you go. Doesn't seem to be anyone. Oh, wait. No, no. It just procked the person on the hook. Let's kick this again. Ah ha ha. There you are. Man, that perk's so good when you like looking for it. Can we hit? Can we hit? Can we hit? Can we hit? Ooh. Wow, she left the loop really easily. Come on. No. She's going to throw it instantly. That's fine. Force her at the loop. Waste. Waste it. <gasps> oh, that was so close. Now, I'm really shocked they actually haven't got another gen yet because I am playing 
big poopy stinky. Ooh. Get the procs, get the procs, get the procs. Get the stacks, get the stacks. I'm gonna chase this Meg. Come on. And then there's a skirt truck right there with five, five stacks. Very nice. I can already tell this is going to be a close game. I want to get this Michaela. Oh no! Can I get a hit here? Yeah, this this is going to be a hit. Oh, that's not a hit! Quick recovery. She's gonna leave, which is exactly what I want. She's aiming for that. Come on. Ooh. Quick, 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 quick. Got seven stacks. That gen's really far gone. Oh no. Okay, get her on a hook. That procs, very nice. So she's gonna go and save her. This is, oh, this is a really good scenario. Quick, quick, quick. That's fine. She's behind here, right? Wait, I heard her. <gasps> okay, this is gonna get very tense. I've got eight stacks. I actually don't want to hit this thing though because I've got full stacks. Ada. Ooh. Let's just destroy that. She's gonna run far left. Wait, there she is! Oh, you can't escape! Very nice. Oh. Go on, make it. She's gonna go for the save. Can I do this? Oh, they did it out so much, yes! There we go. So good. Using that to like scare people out of a loop is so good. So, got auras. She's the obsession, so I need to basically make sure that if I'm hitting her, I'm killing her. Hit her, hit her, hit her! Come on! Oh no! I forgot that was there. I think I can make this. Yes. Oh no. That's so good for her. Oh, it's coming back to bite me in the ass. Come on. Can I get that? Oh. Wait. Oh, I thought it. Oh no, 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 no. Okay. Now I'll bite her back. Come on. She's gonna run this way, which is alright for me. She's gonna try and take that. Oh, wow! Oh! This is so close. I can't help but feel like every time I've hit someone and downed someone, I've like perfectly cycled through people and haven't allowed them to. Um. He actually killed. No, they're all gonna escape. No. Damn it. Well, I had a feeling that was gonna be close. Ah, there it is. I honestly think that that was just down to pure skill difference. I think the build was completely fine, and I think we played it okay, but issue being that I did not focus certain survivors at the right time. Which was a bit of an issue. I let them all gather their hook states and then it just ended up being so, so difficult to then kill them off at the end of the game. Which they should have, I should have had at least one or two of them dead at least halfway through that game. But, oh, that's very frustrating. But, but yeah. But, yes, if you enjoyed that, let me know in the comment section below. Leave a like and also hit that subscribe button. 
check out more of the videos if you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys next time